The fifth lesson in kinematics is the second part of average velocity. We're going to start by taking a look at a launch of the space shuttle, and it's sped up to save a little bit of time. And you can see in the bottom right, they give you a bunch of data about the flight of the shuttle. You can see its altitude and its speed. Um, and we're just going to watch for a moment. You'll see that when the shuttle reaches a speed of about 3,000 miles per hour, the solid rocket boosters will detach, and that's where we're going to leave it. The guiding question for this lesson is, what is another way to calculate average velocity? So if we look at that shuttle launch, uh, from launch until the separation of the solid rocket boosters, the space shuttle Discovery accelerated from rest to about 3,000 miles per hour, which is 1,340 meters per second, in about 2 minutes and 6 seconds. Um, from that data, we could definitely calculate the acceleration if we wanted to, um, but we don't particularly care about that. Um, could we calculate the average velocity? Well, V bar equals D over T, and we have the time but we don't really know the displacement, and maybe we can go back to the video and look at the data and see, but we're not gonna do that. Um, there's another easier way for us to calculate the average velocity. For an object undergoing uniform acceleration, the average velocity is the average of the initial and final velocities, literally, the average. Um, uniform means not varying or changing, staying the same at all times. So if something is accelerating at a constant rate, we can calculate the average velocity in this way. So for the example of the space shuttle, we can write the equation V bar equals VI plus VF over two, literally the average of two numbers, just like you average a test. Uh, and note, this equation is not on your reference table, but it is a valid equation and very helpful at times. Uh, we can plug in our numbers, zero meters per second to begin with and 1,340 meters per second at the end divided by two we can find that the average velocity of the shuttle was 670 meters per second. It's as simple as that. Let's take a look at one more example. So let's say this car was traveling 18 meters per second when it began to slow down and it came to a complete stop at the red light. What was the average velocity of the car? Well, average velocity is the VI plus VF over two and 18 meters per second plus zero over two is nine meters per second. That's it. So to summarize, for an object undergoing uniform acceleration, the average velocity is just the average of the initial and final velocities. Written out as an equation, we get V bar equals VI plus VF divided by two.